हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन ई लर्निंग क्लासेस दिस इज योर सेकेंड पीरियड एंड योर सब्जेक्ट इज सोशल साइंस स्टूडेंट्स वी आर रीडिंग सिविक्स चैप्टर वन दट इज पावर शेयरिंग एंड टुडे अंडर दिस चैप्टर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड बेल्जियम the accommodative or accommodation form of government the three forms of government which are there in belgium followed by different forms of power sharing types and example so here belgium accommodation three kinds of government in belgium forms of power sharing types and example so these topics we are going to cover students today so please do watch it carefully i hope all my students have connected right now with this group fine so students belgium adopted accommodation whereas sri lanka adopted majoritarianism that means in belgium different i mean language communities people are there but belgium government adopted an accommodative policy the diverse groups of people are accommodated in such a manner hence they adopted any sort of conflicts there's no conflicts people are very happy because they adopted such a model of government in their country clear now the belgian leaders the leaders of belgium took a different path a separate path was adopted separate uh, uh, form method was adopted in their country what is that one they recognized the existence of religious differences also regional differences the belgium leaders i mean they recognized the existence of regional differences and cultural diversities they know in their country regional and the cultural diversities are there so in such situation they adopted a path in such a manner that they should i mean accommodate all these people hence for the same between 1970 to 1993 remember this date it will be asked in the examination between 1970 to 1993 the uh, belgium constitution was four times it was amended four times the belgium constitution amended four times between 1970 to 1993 and through this amendments i mean amendments means what changes they made certain rules and regulations that helps in accommodating all the regional and the cultural diversities among the people in their country okay so four times it was amended so as to work out an arrangement that could enable everyone to live together within the same country the arrangement they worked out is different from any other country and it was very innovative i mean the the system which was adopted in belgium model or belgium model which was adopted in their country is quite different from the rest of the world it was quite quite innovative such form of government is not at all found in any other parts of the world or any other country in the world so here are some of the elements in belgium model so i am telling belgium model of i mean government there are three types of governments are there in belgium one is central government state government and community government how many three central government state government and uh, community government so these are the three forms of government which are there in belgium now the constitution prescribes that the number of dutch and uh, french speaking ministers dutch speaking and french speaking ministers shall be equal in the central government actually in belgium i mean dutch people and french people the number the percentage is different but the constitution made in such a manner that uh, the number of ministers uh, shall be equal in the central government so there is no i mean uh, chance of any conflicts there is no majority no minority some special laws some special laws 
require the support of majority of members i repeat so special laws require the support of majority of members from each linguistic group thus no single community can make decisions unilaterally here the word unilaterally means what i mean taking decisions independently without the consent of others so such case is not there i mean nobody can take independent decisions okay so next point many powers of the central government or many powers of the central government have been given to state governments some powers are of central government are given to state government just like india the powers are distributed in central and the state here many powers of the central government have been given to the state governments of the two regions of the country the state governments are not at all subordinate to the central government in belgium the state governments are not at all subordinate in our country uh, generally in our country also states are independent they have their own form of governments at a times we are depending upon central government but in belgium the state governments are not at all subordinate to the central government now point number 3 brussels you know the capital of belgium and also the headquarter of european union so brussels has a separate government in brussels there is separate government in which both the communities in brussels there are two communities are there both the communities have equal representation so there is also there is no chance of any conflicts among the groups so both communities have equal representation the french speaking people accepted equal representation the french people were 18 80% so they accepted the uh, representation in brussels brussels became the uh, sorry because the dutch speaking community has accepted equal representation in the central government i mean in central government the dutch speaking community accepted the french that's why in brussels the french people accepted the dutch people so both are happy now apart from the central government and state government there is a third kind of government in uh, belgium that is called community government community government this community government is elected by the people belonging to the uh, one to, to one language community the third form of government in belgium is what community government is a third form of government and this form of government is elected by a particular language community people maybe dutch maybe french maybe german speaking people no matter where they live suppose in a in an area where dutch people are more so dutch government will be there an area where french people are more french government will be there an area where german speaking people are more so german i mean the community government of german people will be there okay this government has the power regarding cultural educational and language related issues so the community government people have power only in these three one is cultural second is educational third is language related issues only they will deal now coming to next one that is generally powers are distributed powers are distributed uh, in different forms there are three kinds of power distribution one is power shared among the different forms of i mean organs of the uh, power, power is shared among different forms of the government that is vertical distribution of government second is power shared among different organs of the government one more thing power shared among different uh, social groups and fourth one power shared among different political parties pressure groups okay uh, movements etc etc so i repeat there are different uh, forms of power sharing four forms of power sharing is there one is that is power shared among different levels of government that is called vertical distribution of power central government state government and local government central government state government local government so power is shared among three governments that is called vertical distribution of power top to bottom similarly horizontal distribution of power horizontal that means power is distributed among different organs of the government legislature executive and judiciary legislature 
executive and judiciary so these are the three organs of the government so power and power shared among the three organs of the government equally that is called horizontal distribution of power sharing apart from these two power is shared among different uh, i mean social group people why in order to avoid any sort of social conflicts and fourth one is power share among different pressure groups political parties and uh, movement groups so these are the four forms of power sharing is there now why power is shared among different organs of the government that is called horizontal distribution of power very simple the reason is in order to have checks and balances checks and balances listen the term checks and balances student generally uh, there are three organs of government legislature executive judiciary in our country also we are having the three organs and all the three organs are having power with them all the three organs are having in, uh, they are working independently at the same time they are related linked with the other organs also they are working independently legislature law making they are having power executive law implementation they are having the power judiciary law interpretation they are having the power so all organs are having independent power with them they are working independently at the same time they are having proper coordination so this is because to check the power of one organ by the other organ if all the power the entire power is given to one organ then the power will be misused power will become corrupt so in order to avoid that one in order to implement the checks and balances uh, this principle power is shared among different organs of the government that is legislature executive judiciary and it is also called horizontal distribution of power now coming to vertical distribution of power here vertical distribution of power means when power is shared among different levels of the government for example in india we are having central government state government local government central government they are having some power state government they are having some power and local governments also having some power the power between center state and local the powers are distributed between the uh, distributed according to our indian constitution based on three list actually power is shared among central government and state governments and some of the and the state governments give some power to the local governments i repeat constitution distributed the power between center and state governments but the uh, state governments shared some of their power to the uh, local governments okay so when power is distributed between central government state government local government that we can term as what vertical distribution of power which we have, which we are having in our country india now uh, now come i mean uh, here power shared among different social groups example belgium in belgium is the best example of what the showing the power shared among different social groups Yeah, there we are having community government community government in belgium it reserves constituencies in assemblies and parliaments from the community i mean from community government people okay now power is also shared among different uh, political parties and also pressure groups and movements uh, in influencing the those in power okay the people who are in power are the ruling party the people who are not in power those parties are not in power but try to capture political parties opposition parties so power is also shared like this now students here what do we learn from the two stories of belgium and sri lanka one question is there okay what do we learn listen carefully both are democracies in belgium and sri lanka both countries we have we have seen democratic form of governments are there but at the same time what is the difference one adopted accommodative policy in belgium whereas in sri lanka they adopted majoritarianism policy majority people always dominates in sri lanka over the minorities whereas in belgium it is not like that all people all language people are given equal representation both the central government and the, the government at brussels and also they are having what community government also both are democracies as i said yet they dealt with the, the question of power sharing differently democracies are there but power shared among these two countries is different way one adopted accommodation other is adopted majoritarianism in belgium the leaders have realized the unity of the country is possible only by respecting the feelings and interests of different communities very clever belgian people are very clever 
they thought that they realized that the unity of the country can be maintained only when they accommodate different uh, cultural language people together hence they adopted accommodation policy uh, such a realization resulted in mutual acceptable arrangements for power sharing whereas in sri lanka shows as a contrasting example it shows us the shows us that if a majority community wants to force its dominance over others and refuses to share power it can undermine the unity of the country this is the case in sri lanka fine so some similarities are there between both the countries at the same time difference is also there so students this is the end of the today's topics so stay connected i'll put uh, i'll uh, send another video also so do watch it carefully for better understanding thank you